welcome back to my channel so as you guys can see i'm feeling very feisty festival and amazing today i feel really 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 psyched and excited about this video i can't wait to start this tutorial so i'm excited for you guys to see how i got this makeup look thank you guys so much for watching and again if you're new hi i'm melly what's up welcome to my youtube channel and i hope to see you guys around so please don't leave without hitting that subscription button right here below and comment anything down that you guys want to see next, any suggestions, anything that you like, anything that you don't like, anything at all. But thank you guys so much for watching as always and let's get started with this makeup look. I'm doing like a light layer foundation because lately I've been really digging like really light layers of foundation like where I can see my freckles and some of my imperfections so somewhat of what would you do in like a no makeup makeup day so like right here this is where I stop with my foundation I won't build it up anymore and as you guys can see you can see some of my imperfections right here I have some breakout I have some freckles here I have my nose freckles and all of that and I've been really liking that like the whole freckle trend thing since they have them naturally so. to be honest I still don't know how I feel about this concealer to be completely honest with you guys All right, now for the first time ever, I'm gonna be using this guy right here. Well, I mean, I tried it once in my friend's house, but I'm gonna try it in front of the camera for the first time ever. I wanna see how this transfers and it looks on my camera. And this powder has been very much compared to high-end powders and people say that it holds up to the standards. <coughs> Laura Mercier one. I don't know, my favorite setting powder ever, the Laura Mercier one. So I'm really gonna, you know, like, be hard on this powder so if it does hold up to the standards of my Laura Mercier one I'm gonna be the first one to let you guys know oh my god why is this so hard all right so it comes with this huge thing so this is what it looks like right here it's closed it's sealed with a little sticker that I'm gonna be removing right now hopefully it doesn't fall everywhere all right, so it has very like a really strong smell, and it smells like what my grandma would smell like if she was wearing this powder. That's one thing that I don't like off the bat. I hate like strong smells of makeup, and my Laura Mercier doesn't have any smell at all. I have to like beat it hard. Okay, there we go. We got some product. All right, now I'm gonna bake like I would with my Laura Mercier one, and let's see how this works out. I'm just gonna bake my whole face. I'm gonna bake my life. And I'm gonna use this to set my eyes so I can start doing my eyeshadows. And I'm gonna use my Luxie 150 Flat Angle Blender Brush. As you guys can see, that concealer crease is really fast. So I'm gonna remove the bakage on my nose because I don't like baking on my nose too much because I, then I feel like my nose looks cakey. So I'm just gonna remove it with my Morphe 88 brush. And I'm just gonna leave it everywhere else besides my chin and my nose. There we go. Now I'm ready to start with my eyes. 
And I'm gonna start with a shimmery look. So I'm gonna go in with these things that I have right here that I have showed you guys a million times on camera. I multi-use this. I am actually using a highlight color from this today as well. So you guys will see what that looks like, which has been really cute. And I really, really like it. It's very beaming. But for my eyes, I'm gonna use this too right here. Today. And I'm gonna be using this shade right here, if you guys can see it. It's very gold, very, very, very gold. Almost copper kind of looking, if you will. But it looks beautiful here, but I have trouble when this transfers to my lid. It doesn't look as glittery, and I'm wondering if it's because I'm not using like a glitter glue or something. And I've been trying to find a glitter glue, but I can't find one from NYX or any other brand. So if you guys know a really good glitter glue, please let me know in the comments down below and help you girl out. This flat top brush from BH Cosmetics. And I'm starting with my glitter today and then I'll blend it out with a kind of brown matte shade. Okay, looking good so far. My trouble with these glitters is when I blend them, when I blend them, they lose these sparkles completely, like completely, and I'll be just left with like a flat color looking type of thing, and that really, really bothers me, because I want them to be like glittery, like you can see it from space, you know what I mean? So also, if you guys know like something really, like a brand that sells like really good glitters, Please let me know. I'm dying to try new stuff. I feel like I'm always using the same stuff. But I try to mix it up with... I'm trying with low-end products more, like cheap, cheaper products, because I felt like I was using really high-end products all the time. And I know some of you guys are looking to save a buck. So that's why I'm trying to include more like cheap stuff on my videos, which are really good quality because obviously I wouldn't recommend anything to you guys that I wouldn't wear myself. Alright, so now I'm going to blend that out with a matte shade on the edges. I'm just going to blend around the edges. And I'll start with this palette right here. Let me see if I find like a shade that I really want. Alright, so I definitely see a shade that I can use to blend here. Obviously, this palette is amazing. So I think I'm going to go in with my Morphe E28 brush right here, as you can see. It's like a big blending brush, and I'm gonna go with this shade right here. This shade right here. So I know Coachella is officially over, but I'm feeling very festival, and that's why I wanted to do this makeup look. Let's see if you guys were wondering. One of my dreams is actually to go to Coachella. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. Coachella? 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 Alright, so now for the hard part, I'm gonna go in with my all time favorite at the moment liner, Maybelline Stiletto. This has been my favorite liner for quite some time now. If you guys have been following me for quite some time, and you know this, that it's quite my favorite liner. favorite colorful palettes from all time is the Urban Decay Electric Palette and I'm going to be doing some pop-up color on my lower lash line. So I'm going to go with the brush that comes with the palette and I'm going to start with Gonzo. Oh, look at that, that looks really cute. I really like that. I really do. And now I'm gonna go with Chaos, which is like a vibrant blue, like a really vibrant blue. If you guys can see right here. But I'm gonna make. I'm gonna keep this on the outer corner of that lower lash line.
Right, now that we have that pop of color, I'm going to put mascara on my top lashes and on my bottom lashes. And then I'll do falsies. With my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. Alright, so now I'm going to go with falsies. This one's right here. They're by Kiss and they're new. And I decided to try them because they look really, really cute. And they're called Lash Couture Box Mink Collection. And they're the style Bodor. Bodor? 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 So now I'm going to do my lipstick and I'm going to go in with this Colourpop liquid lipstick in the shade Platform. Alright, so I'm literally in love with this makeup look as it is, but we're going to get very festival here. So I'm going to be using my NYX White Liquid Liner right here. This one right here. It's a liquid liner that is white. So any white liquid liner that you guys have will be great. I'm going to be using this brush, better yet the back of the brush, this part right here to be marking circles that you guys will see right now. And that's how we're gonna give this look a festival twist.
I'm getting creative and I'm gonna do three dots right here next to my wing liner. So I wish me luck. Alright guys, so this is the final result. I'm super happy with how it came out. I hope this video was somewhat helpful. I know we're still in festival season and this is my festival inspired makeup look. Bye bye guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.